It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So we have been doing these updates live, but because of my lack of content, I'm using today to record a bunch of content to put out for you guys. So this one is pre-recorded, but it should be out in time so you guys can check it out and see my analysis for the day. Normally I don't do them on Sundays, but like I said, felt like I had to get something out for you guys. So now that my internet's fixed, let's get back to work. Bitcoin is holding up that 54,000 area. Last time I was on, it had cracked, but it made a little pop back up, but it keeps stair-stepping down. We need to see it pop back above 55,000 and hold this line as support instead of resistance. If it can't get back above 50, 55,000 soon, we might have another drop-off. Like if we get rejected here, Every time we've got rejected after two day run, tomorrow we can see another red bar down. We don't want to see that because that's going to signal uh, a, quite a bit of a pullback. And we may be headed for that when you look at the whole daily chart of Bitcoin now because we have been all the way back over. It's kind of the same thing here. We may get another pop up, but hard to tell. We, we just don't want to see that big red bar tomorrow because it's going to change the outlook very much. So need to see a rebound there. Ethereum holding up so far above 4,000. Looks like it's going to continue to hold. So as long as it holds 4,000, it's good. It's got to break back over uh, 4,400 soon if it's going to continue to run. But it may just go sideways for a little bit. The whole entire crypto market been having a pullback uh, this last week with this holiday stock market pulled back all of that i was expecting more of a rebound this weekend but we really haven't got it however there are some big runners today ddx is up 82 percent ripping from 615 all the way up to 15 dollars it's currently pulled back so you can see this big movement trying to hold the 50-day. If it continues to just bounce off this 50-day, it could be a nice little scout play or you can continue to ride that up. Don't know why this is ripping, but basically on the 15-minute, just got to stay above the 50-day to stay bullish. CRL, another one that's up here, 30%, running from $1.75 all the way up to 285 which is a really nice rip. Holding a 10-day moving average so far on the 15-minute. So if it does that, it could bounce off of there soon. If it doesn't, it's got a ways to drop all the way back down to the 50-day. ALCX is up some, but you look at it on the daily chart, it's really not up any at all. So Rary is another one. Rary was just kind of hitting lows, having a pretty nice rebound there. But a lot of selling pressure still above it, causing this big wick. So we'll see how if it can hold these areas or not. Like we don't have to see it start holding above 20 for it to continue this momentum because it's really still downtrending. This is a nice pop up today, but not enough to show strength where I'd be looking for this for a swing trade or anything. Same thing with TRAC. Now Luna is up today. Luna has broke back above its trend line. So if it can hold above the trend line, Luna's going to start ripping again. And there's a possibility because it is back above it. Um, it also could be a head and shoulders pattern, right? Here's the head, shoulder, and if we consolidate here for a few days and don't break back over 50, uh, make new highs, then we would see a dump the other part of that shoulder. So very important that that holds. So with Luna moving up, that may get some of the Cosmos ecosystem going. Uh, Adam is trying to hold that 25, 27 area. It's really had a lot of selling pressure, pushing it down. We got a sharp downtrend that needs to break. Uh, so we may go sideways for a few days, and we could see it break back above 30 and continue to run. If it doesn't, it's going to probably test 25 and if it cracks 25 we could see it down to 20 
So need to see a bounce coming. And it may get it. We'll see. Hard to tell yet. Crypto.com. Crow uh, having a nice little rebound. Holding the 10-day moving average on the daily chart. Like right in the 75 cent area. If it can hold 75 cents, we'll see it retest a dollar here soon. It is a little ways off the trend line, but as long as it's holding up, even if it holds, even if it goes sideways for a couple of days, it'll be closer to that trend line, and buyers will be more willing to come in there. But it looks, as of right now, like buyers are already trying to hold this up. So Crow might be about, yeah, look at this. Crow might be about ready for a break. Might see a nice little rebound up to this 85 cent area. So that's one to keep an eye on. GRT, the graph, since that Cosmos news has been poking around a dollar, not able to break over a dollar ten. So if it can hold a dollar here and tomorrow we see it push back up over a dollar ten, that could continue to rip. If not, it's going to, have to come back down to the trend line. But keeping an eye on it just because of that Cosmos news. Loop ring still on its uptrend. Actually holding up pretty strong right there. So we can see uh, loop ring start to climb back up. And maybe go for another run soon. Power. Renewable energy free market coin. Like the idea a lot. But kind of cracking that trend line there. So I'm going to take that off in this downtrend for now. We don't really have... Much of a pattern at the moment is just trying to hold up like 60 cents. A couple candle wicks that hit right around that 60 cent area. Right back through here. So that's what's trying to hold that old resistance. Trying to hold as new support now. And it is holding. So if that continues to hold, we could see power actually start bouncing. Tomorrow if we see a green candle push above... I'd say 65. That may start going again. Now Voyager's been hit pretty hard. Ripped pretty hard. Been bearish for a little while in the short term. Last five days just selling off. But this $4 area is kind of keeping the gravity for support. So it did drop below 4 but as soon as it hit 350 was bought up immediately. And you can see we're back at $4 right now. So it, all we got to see is Voyager get back above four, which would be the break of this downtrend, and it could continue climbing up. So it's looking pretty decent as of now. But if it does not break four, it's going to continue selling off down this downtrend, and we'll probably see it to three. So I still am holding most of my VGX in my Voyager account, but my average is 250 there. And uh, I'm going to hold it as long as it can stay above 350. If it doesn't, I'm going to hop out and I'll get back in cheaper if it starts dropping below that because more than likely we come down to 250 or 2. Fetch looking a little sketchy there, having a really hard pullback, dropping out of this triangle. Tried to rebound back in it again, but getting slapped out of it another second time here. It is trying to rebound once. Once more at 75, so the fact that it continues to try to hold 75 and it's not been able to drop below that, buyers like it at 75 cents, we may see Fetch start to turn around finally. This thing is underperformed, but Cosmos Atom uh, has put a little damper on all of those altcoins out of that ecosystem. God's Token made a nice run up to 664, another big bounce all the way back down to 461. But still just filling out this beautiful triangle. People are getting paid out in it. And they're not dumping it like I thought they was going to. Like people are set some people are, there's some selling pressure. But there's still people holding it and buying into it because we keep getting these bounces back up. I'm continuing to stack mine. I think there's just a ton of potential in this game and some of the content. Later today we'll be on this game. So I'm going to be covering it more in depth and probably even doing some gameplay footage. Not really ever done any gameplay content on YouTube. But I figure since I'm doing it and if you guys want to see it, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, God's looking pretty good. 
as of now. Some other ones to keep an eye on. Solana has cracked its trend line, but trying to hold that 200 area of support. Shiba Inu still going down in this descending triangle, but there is some buying that's been coming in the last few days, holding it in that quad three, three five to three eight area. So it'll keep going down until it breaks out of this descending triangle. Now, if it doesn't break to the upside, it's going to dump hard. So be aware of that. Mana looking pretty good. Still holding that 10-day. Had that indecision candle. Now getting a bullish green candle. We'll probably see mana back up to 550 over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if not, if it, start, if it doesn't push up for some reason, it gets rejected at 5 that 10 day could crack and it could drop all the way down to three so that could be a concern but you can see buyers are still willing to buy it above that 10 day at the moment polygon matic i mean it's just staying in this big wedge right in the middle there and at 165 still got a ways to go but could see it uh, possibly push up to two again here soon if it continues to hold where it's holding if not, it may have to come back down to the trend line, but 150 seems to be holding this pretty strong support, so that yeah, probably probably get a little move there. OMG pretty much gave back its entire run that it just had. I mean, just dumped right off, and it's all the way back down to eight dollars. That's concerning that it could not hold any of those gains, so that would make me a little bit nervous about this one for the moment. I'd want to see it get back above $10 and hold support. Ontology's one to still keep on watch, holding this trend line, climbing, testing this dollar to dollar twenty-five area. Cardano cracked its trend line, dropping all the way down to 140. This thing, since that last run, I hadn't talked about in a while. Last time I was still saying I was disappointed in it and I was concerned about it when it started selling off in it originally. And my concerns still are the same and it is showing on the chart. So Cardano peeps, if you're still holding on strong, something, something needs to change with Cardano. There needs to be some really big progress come out of there because people are getting tired of waiting. You can just see back here the volume that Cardano used to get. And now this whole last half of the year, the volume that Cardano has just dropped off. Just not a lot of people wanting to mess with it anymore. Amp's been getting a little active the last couple of days, getting some pops. So that could be one to keep an eye on. It's definitely a good scalping one when it gets real heavy volume like this. Definitely some money to be made there. Uh, overall, the crypto market is... Still not looking bad. I mean, we're still seeing altcoins breaking out. As long as altcoins are breaking out every day, you know, people are coming in making money. People keep coming in and making money, and that'll just keep this uh, bull market going. Bitcoin is a little concerning, but more than likely, it's probably not going to drop too hard without getting bought up every time it comes down to support areas. People are there to buy it. Ethereum's looking good. I think Ethereum may see another breakout soon, but we just got to be aware. You know, it's the end of the year. People are going to be selling things for taxes. We got new tax laws that could be possibly coming in that could shake things up. A lot of different things happening across all the economies, all the global scale with cryptocurrencies and governments. So that's pretty much it for today's crypto update. We'll be back Monday with the live stream crypto updates and more than likely some live stream crypto trading. If you haven't yet, go check out FrameworkFortune.com. It is free. Sign up with email. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.